I'm gonna make my steamed whole artichokes with a spicy lemon caper mayonnaise. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah, shut yeah, the all front day. door. So I like to use this kind of old school steamer basket. Love it. As a kid, I was. Remember? Yeah, fascinating. What do we do with this? Um, so literally, just enough. I just want to fit four artichokes, them snugly in a single layer. I've got a few inches of water in the bottom of the pot. Um, and then to prepare them, it is super complicated. I really want you guys to pay attention. Just cut that stem off so that after you cook it, it can sit flat on the plate, mm -hmm. and you are going to look really cool. So I'd like them to sit flat. And then literally, just arrange them, stem down, in a single layer on top of this little basket we put in here. Chooks in there, the water's cold in the bottom, so we don't get any steam burns. It's even less complicated. OK, so we put the top on and just get that heat going. I'm going to steam these for 30 to 35 minutes. I just do the, the simplest test. I have some here. Oh. Yeah, that's it. It just does it itself. And, and this is a way to start with artichokes so you're not intimidated. How do we test for doneness? Quite simply, and Jeffrey and I were talking about this. Just try pull a leaf. to pull a leaf out. If but it, it should if, just come out easy, right? Yeah. Now, they do go from that vibrant spring green to more of an army green. It is true. But I just think they still look oh, they're beautiful. Like so spring unique. flowers. I feel like, Sunny, you're going to love this. I also love artichokes from the can. I could just eat the whole can of artichoke hearts. It's delicious. It's briny, it's tangy. And then also you can make like a really quick spinach artichoke dip out of the can. I like the can. Love that, Sunny. So for me, classic, six tablespoons of mayonnaise as the base. Two tablespoons, it's a lot. of It's caper forward of just chopped capers. Not really any of the brine though, honestly, in this case, though I love it. Two tablespoons of mustard. We're going for that French bistro vibe. Two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Right? One tablespoon plus two teaspoons of hot sauce. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And a pinch of uh, red pepper flakes. Just a pinch. Because I, I also love the texture when you get a little flake. And some olive oil, about three tablespoons. I like a little heat in there. So do I. Think I. That's a good it's, idea. It's... Yeah, the artichoke is kind of, I think, wants that. My favorite ingredient of all to have on hand whenever you're making any kind of sauce is water, because you just don't know. I feel like every time you make something, it can be a little bit different. See if it needs anything. Mm, it's, ooh, that's good. Yeah. Pinch of salt, and again, compensating for the fact that I haven't added any salt yet. I'm going to put a touch more in here. I don't think I need the water. Um, whisk this together. And it's great when it, if it's, if you can get it when it's just warm, like barely warm, oh. it's the best. Sit the artichoke. There, scrape it all day. Oh. And then just some chives. I feel like you need a little of herbaceousness. <laughs> just a nice thin cut right on top. So that when we dunk these petals in here, we get a little bit of herb right sort of as the initial flavor. Not too much right off. Just on top. Yum. I see a steamed artichoke on the menu. I'm going for it. And I, now I'm going to be making them at home all the time. Well, show us how to eat it. Yeah. So I eat every leaf. What, you, what you're really doing is you're going for that kind of meaty bottom dunk. Scrape. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that's it. Yeah, it's really fun to eat. And then you need a little bowl, like when you eat mussels. So you eat all the petals. And when I was a kid, I didn't really like the heart. Oh. Leave it. Oh, that's the best part. I know, misspent youth. So just to show, after you've eaten all this, and it, you're right, it really is a lot to eat, and it's fun, because there's a lot of, it's very tactile. You're literally, you just, you can take your little dinner knife and just, just pull apart. You can eat all of these leaves. This is a lot of food. And then here you have the heart and what we call the hay, or the choke mm -hmm. itself. It's called choke for a reason. Yes. You, yeah. don't, you don't want to eat it. You want to take that choke bit off the top. And this is hot, which is so great. And then this. That's the uh, prize. Uh, this is really. That's the gold. That's like what see, you're going for. It still stays really hot because all of this protects the heart. And then you the just armor. dunk the heart and eat it. That's the best part. A lot. So here we that's are. That's a good so one. Exciting.